now we're going to get into ChatGPT and a lawsuit against it. Have Gasp. You, mm-hmm. Gasp. Mm-hmm. So OpenAI, the parent company to ChatGPT, is getting uh, a lawsuit or getting sued by everybody. I had heard a little bit about this. Yeah, okay. just a little. Just a little? Yeah. So a GPT or ChatGPT is a generative pre-trained transformer, meaning mm-hmm. that uh, OpenAI used services or used data. the internet, the, the uh, yeah. data from the internet to train the model to feed information into it so then it could make predictive um, responses to questions. So by doing this though, that means that it could have been fed copyright stuff. Oh, Oh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah, but so, it's, it makes sense, I guess, if it's copy or some copy, because there's a bunch of data out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, but go on. Sorry. Oh no, no, no. It, it's um. So it go went through every single type of data. So it's this combing the internet or like um scraping the internet for data, and or data mining. So this is not is very similar to what um Google search would do, by going in and scouring the internet for terms to feed into the search algorithm that they have. Yeah, that makes sense. But now people are saying that this type of behavior, training the AI model based on their work is infringing on their rights and their copyright on their stuff. Yeah. Um, I might... You know, I don't. Mm. This is a very. I feel like it's a very complicated subject. It is very complicated. So, my thought is that um, the AI is taking this data and then um, kind of interpreting its own, interpreting its own view of it, which in some cases is kind of like how humans would do it. Yeah. However the AI will never attribute or like give credit to the original data set of where it got it. Oh, I mean, can't you just ask it to cite its sources? So <laughs> you think you could do that, but um, apparently ChatGPT in a, a different article was um was asked to do legal work and it just oh, made stuff up. Oh, yes, I do remember this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I do remember this. So part. you can't yeah. exactly yeah, uh, yeah. ask it to do that because it's kind of trained to be a people pleaser in a way. Yeah. Where if it if you ask it to do something and prove a point, it'll just give you something to that prove seems a point. Yeah, yeah to seem real. Like it'll be real enough to potentially like eh, maybe that's real, but you don't know if it's actually um, something that's real. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so yeah what do you sense. think do you think that um the the use of scraped or like um data mine data is like infringing on your rights or if you put content out there do you think that's like for everybody to use in any way they want um no because the thing is to like if there was like unsavory people who would use uh, my content for things that I didn't like, didn't mm. like, or didn't stand for. It does it like for me. I would be like, I am not comfortable with having yeah. that. So I can kind of see where where these uh, where these individuals who say it's like their data is being used without their consent mm-hmm. it, are coming from. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a very it's a, that's why I said it's a very complicated subject. I think there's a lot that could go on here, um, and I think it's like you should have the protection of your data uh, for copyrighted data, mm. especially. Um, yeah, just to just to know where it's going. Yeah, I mean, or being used mm. where it's being used. That's at least my point of view. I like, do question like sometimes. Um, you don't expect things to be um, able to be seen in on the internet, but then they kind of are. Like it's yeah. not stored in the most secure way, so these data mining uh, algorithms can go and, and like look at the data. Yeah. So, how if you wrote essays and then it it pulled from your essays that aren't copyrighted? Do you think that's like infringing in some way? Do you? 
No, they could use whatever they want. Really? <laughs> at that point, if it's not copyrighted, if like, mm. if it's not something, if they're not going to use my name, I guess, and it's something that I've really put out into the public. I don't know if that's contradicting because it's like, I think it's like if it is, co- if I had put copyrighted material or things that mm-hmm. I, I was like, I'm very sensitive about where this goes out. Uh, I wouldn't want that stuff out there. But if I put stuff for free, I would be like, okay, you're fine to use this, you know? So it's like, it's like if, yeah, I don't know. That's just my point of mm. view. I don't know if that's, that's like the same thing, but that's just like free stuff is free. Copyrighted stuff. Not so much. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. I think it's very difficult because it's kind of like copying you in a lot of ways. Yeah. Because if you're putting a lot of like content out and then, um, and then it goes and pulls from that. And then like it is using your like content, your thing to then make something else like without ever attributing you or, or that. Cause it's not like another person or anything. It's like a corporation that's using your stuff to profit on. It's like, okay, well, you know, especially if you're like a, a writer and then chat GPT goes and is like, Hey, write a book and, or write a story in the um in the style in the style of, of yeah. you know um J.R.R. Tolkien you know like make let's make a new Lord of the Rings let's make a Lord of the Rings but you know sci-fi and then Chadwick's like okay uh what it, then yeah. it is make something but it's using the original Copyrighted, word like yeah. it has it has to know what uh Tolkien was to to do to it, do yeah. it. yeah it's, it's like, kind of crazy just to think about even. Like, it's, it's hard because it's, like, yes, like, that's why it's, I feel like that's, they shouldn't be doing that, in my opinion. They should just look at anything that's not, like, copyrighted or anything like that, or anything that's not, um, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's hard because there's, a lot mm-hmm. of stuff isn't copyright written. Yeah, so, like, if, the thing is that if you had, like, a wiki page, and then the wiki page, they went and scraped the wiki page, they scraped... A bunch of other stuff that when they use all the stuff together creates a holistic image of like how this would be or like oh they instead of getting the copywritten stuff we actually just used um, a bunch of fan fictions you know those aren't copywritten yeah, that's true that's so true. if they used a bunch of co- like copyright free stuff like extended universe um lord of the rings stuff to make this or like input into the model and they didn't use it they wouldn't be able to tell either though yeah, I guess this is how important it is. It's where you cite your sources. <laughs> this is how important it is. Okay. I mean, but, like, the crazy thing is that, like, the lawsuit wouldn't know, per se. Because, like, how would... Because even the people in ChatGPT or the open OpenAI wouldn't know where exactly the data is being, like, drawn from. Like, the, mm-hmm. once the AI, like, learns, learns something, it can pull back from it, but you don't know what it's pulling back from because the data set's so large. You don't know where, what point is it referring to, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I, I would have a question for chat GPT. Um, it would be, why haven't, uh, why haven't the people here subscribed if they've listened this long? (laughs) So that's what I would ask. And, uh, if you guys like this make sure you like, and subscribe, but, uh, yeah, I it, wanted to I wanted to plug that in at some point. But yeah, if you like this type of content, we we try to come up with like cool topics and if you want to hear some more cool topics down the road, um we'll try to bring you weekly topics or well, daily topics really. Yeah, daily topics. And it's just like it's our it's like what we think and our ideas and these things that are I feel like especially in this space it's changing every day. Yeah. So it's uh there's it's moving really fast and like um yeah, I don't know. It's just it's a very interesting topic. I think AI in itself is a very interesting topic to talk about. And it's it's legally good. it's weird. Yes, yes, legally it is weird. But I we also like the uh the comments too. Mm-hmm. If you guys have any other opinions or if you guys want to chime in too, uh yeah, just comment down below. Yeah. It's crazy. All right.